So now that you have your robot, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, add the UVs to it. So you click up here. And uh, one thing that's important to realize is this is often glitchy. So if you need help, you call me over because it might be that your UV panel does not look the same as mine. And it's kind of a little bit tough at first if you're not sure. So please call me over and I'll come and help you. All right, so now we're just waiting for this to open. One thing you're going to notice, often the uh, viewport is not visible. So you just go down here, you click viewport, and then you just drag it right here. And... Uh, as an aside, this often does not work, so if it doesn't work with you, don't worry about it. In order to see this, just press 5, and then you see the color that it is, and then you can zoom in and, uh, you know, go move around like you're used to. Oops, and Z. I actually want to move around in my space here. So I'm going to show you how to create a blend. So you should know how to do this. So you go down here, click blend, and you could give it a name, but for sake of time, I'm just going to go quickly here so I have it selected. And I'm going to go with blue. Let's pretend I'm happy with that. So I'm going to select, um, I'm going to switch to face mode. And I'm going to select this face of my robot. Or, you know, this part of my robot. Or this part, let's say. And I'm through selection. There you go. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go back to object mode. And I'm going to make a new blend. And this one I'll make another color. I'm, I'm only going to stop here, just for the sake of time. Let's go with red. And you can play around with this here and change it and all that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to make the rest of the robot. Um, and see, I'll have to go back to face mode here. Do that quickly. So like this. Like the face. And then I'll go assign material selection. And I could do the same to this face. This face. So there here. Then I'll make that face blue, and I'm going to stop there. Now, one thing that I did tell you guys in the past is go to the web on you know Google and search and go and get various images, uh, you know, like metal texture or rust texture, and you can add these in to make your robot look a lot cooler. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to close this, and you know, if ever you switch over to the screen and you don't see it, press five and then press six. Okay, and in my case, it was working. So now I'm going to show you how to export this robot properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go File, uh, Export All, all right? We're going to select FBX, and it's really important that you do this properly because it won't work in Mixamo, all right? All right, so a couple things you need to do here is you need to go in... Uh, Advanced Options, FBX File Format, and you need to change it to 2013. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do. The other thing you need to do is go to Embedded Media, so right under Presets, Embedded Media, you check it. So this needs to be done. So these two things, so I'll repeat again, FB, you need to make it uh, under Advanced Options, you need to make the FBX file format 2013 and embedded media uh, this format. Okay, then give it a name such as uh, my export robot Dubo and click export all. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go and open Mixamo. Okay, and to create this account, you're just going to basically use your same Google account. So you'll see mine, uh, so log in, and I'm already logged into my Google, so I'm going to, don't create an account up here, that's a waste of time. Just go down here, so I'll have Mixamo, and I'm going to go upload my character. So, take it so you basically click upload, go get your file, All right? So there you go, my robot with the textures are there. So then you just go and you continue down uh, and follow, and add the chin wherever the chin is etc and just make sure sometimes you'll see it's not centered so use turn off the symmetry and just place them uh, individually because otherwise it'll look a little bit odd and my elbows I'll place them one at a time and one thing you're gonna do is once you animate it if you see it's all warped just go back and redo it uh, and so I'll just show you it should work pretty good and so 
All right, that, click next. And so there's my robot. And now what I'm going to do is, for the purposes of my video game, I am going to go and get uh, a uh, dancing animation. And I want something where he's more or less kind of in place. So you see this Samba dancing, he's moving, so that's not a good one. So I prefer one that's kind of like this type of Samba dancing because he's not moving around too much. Okay, so this, this is probably good enough. Let's just see how much. And you can, by the way, tweak this here with less energy, more energy, etc. Okay, and then look at what he looks like. Doesn't have to be perfect because you know we're we're not trying to make a perfect video game, just a, a game that's kind of interesting. And you can see the geometry here. I could have shrunk shrink the size of my cube and pop this one out a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do when I'm happy with that is I'm gonna download him. Okay? And when I download him, I make FBX the skin and I'm gonna upload that to Google Drive because I need it for my uh for my video game later so it's really important that you both upload it to your google classroom and your google drive so i need a dancing animation so here's my dancing and then i'm also going to go and get a dying animation because in the video game whenever he gets shot um you know we get okay i'm going to go with just this one here so when he never gets hit in the video game he just dies okay i'm going to download that as well so now i have both so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go and upload this. Uh, the final step for this assignment is I want you to do a screen grab of your dance. I'm going to go back to my Samba dance. So I had selected this one and I had probably tweaked it. So one of the things I'm going to ask you to do is shrink the size of the screen. And you're going to do a video screen grab of this. Now I'm going to recommend an app called Screencast-O-Matic. And you can also record your video screen with QuickTime on the Macs. But for everybody else, I recommend Screencast-O-Matic. It's an excellent tool. So what you do is you turn on that uh, video recording software. And you're going to record this. Okay. And make sure you, you shrink it so that you kind of have like a uh, 16 by 9 kind of like uh, aspect ratio. Okay and uh, then upload that and you're done with this uh, unit okay if you have any questions please let me know